What's up YouTube? Uh, coming at you today with some more anodizing. And uh, I was on, oh gosh, US Knife Kit or Knife Maker Supply.com, something. I'll put the link in the description. But uh, I was looking for accessories for knives, specifically pocket clips uh, and thumb studs and thumb discs and anything made out of titanium that I could find. And uh, I ran across these pocket clips, and they're made out of titanium. They're five to seven dollars, and there's all different shapes and sizes. And uh, these fit the majority of knives that have this three-screw triangle pattern, like uh, Emerson's and Benchmade's. And um, make sure my torch is going to work there. So I ordered them, and they came in, and uh, I've already anodized my Emerson bead. Uh, Schmuckatelli bead titanium on there and I got it a pretty pretty consistent blue and uh, I'm hoping I can make this pocket clip blue and I bought two and uh, they're both different shapes try to get them out here and uh, I've had some success with both titanium beads as well as um, the liners on my Emerson spec war that you guys might have seen in my previous video, my last video, and uh, my spoons. I did that on video. I did a couple of uh, spoons. So, just like a lot of things, the prep work is the key. I'm wiping them off. Right now I've had them in alcohol, and I'm attempting to hold them only on the bottom when I set them down so that I'm not going to get any finger grease on there. I did have a couple spots on my spoons where I'm pretty sure that uh, there was still just a little bit of alcohol on there or maybe toilet paper residue because I wiped them off with toilet paper. Today I'm using a um, shirt that's like, you know, Under Armour type material that's polyester that uh, a, lot, a lot of the knife cleaning cloths use that same stuff. So anyway, enough rambling. Let's get right into it here and see what we can do. I'm going to go for blue. And one thing I didn't mention uh, in the previous video on the spoons is that, uh, go ahead and turn this off a second, is that it's not just the heat that's changing the color, it's, it's oxidizing the surface of the titanium. So to oxidize, you need the oxygen. So when I was doing the spoons and I was going back and forth over a large area, oxygen was getting to the area that I wasn't directing the torch on. Uh, one of the beads, I was just sitting there holding the torch and waiting on the color change to happen. So I did a little more reading, and it's it's when you take the heat away that the color change happens. So you need that oxygen. So you give the you give the item a little bit of heat. You take the torch away. You see what's going on. Then you go back and you do it again. So basically, you you watch it and you slowly heat it up, and you watch the color changes happen. All right, here we go. We're gonna do the top one first. already turned a little bit yellowish and the areas that are uh, laying on the table as my buddy Dale pointed out those are the areas that you're gonna have the hardest times with we've got a little purple on the raised areas because the plate acts as a heat sink those will go blue real, those will go blue real soon the raised areas Now I'm going to try to concentrate on the lowered areas.
Now see, the areas against the plate are the hardest to work with because the plate is sucking the heat out of them, I guess. And so this area, for example, there's a little bit of gold happening there. I've gone past the blue. And then past that would be like a magenta and then a green. And um, finally you would get a really dark, ugly color. But uh, I think I'll call that one good and I'll see what I can do on the second one here. I'm going to concentrate on the lower parts first on this one. See if I can't make something better happen. You can see some water bubbling on the plate. Okay, that quickly we've got a purple. Purple was right before blue. I think I'll call that. Pretty happy with the way those turned out. Mostly blue, a little bit of rainbow action going on. And uh, if anybody has any ideas on how to maybe, I guess I could hang them from a wire through one of the holes, maybe that would be the way to get consistent color because the, uh, the heat is definitely being sucked out down near the bottom there. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Have a good day.